There are some artists that apply pressure 24-7, 365, consistently proving why they're deserving of our attention. Their talent might keep us grooving on the dance floor, smiling at the big screen, or enjoying them from our front row seats while they positively impact pop culture. No matter where they are, these artists bless us with their gifts and get us right. When I got the part, I was like, okay, it's I'm in this movie. And who else is in this movie? Some guy named Cuba Gooding Jr., some dude named Larry Fishburn, and you know, all these people. Ice Cube was a rapper. You know, he he was with NWA. I think he just broke off on his first solo album at the time. And um, I was like, well, no one's gonna see this movie. You know, and then the movie just the movie just took off. It's been nearly 30 years since Morris Chestnut's breakout role as Ricky in the hood hit Boys in the Hood. The film's portrayal of racial inequality in America still remains culturally impactful today. By exploring a wide range of real world and relevant themes, the movie changed perceptions about the black experience in America. Morris's portrayal of Ricky played a major part in telling this powerful story while planting a seed for a successful career. Wow. Um, I think there's so many messages in, uh, to get from a movie like Boys in the Hood. And I, but I, see, I think we've come a long way, you know, um, as a society since that film. I think what happened was when that film first came out, uh, a lot of people across the country and across the world really didn't know, you know, South Central, you know, the inner city. So it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like their peek into the inner city without act actually having to go to the inner city. Um, but some of that stuff does still exist today. Chestnut's major role in 1999's romantic comedy, The Best Man, had the actor starring alongside Tay Diggs. He exhibited his range playing the groom, a man who seemingly discovers his best man once slept with his bride-to-be. The film earned rave reviews for its ensemble cast, including Nia Long and Sanaa Lathan. Variety reviewer stated that the actor delivers a strong and touching rendition of a jealously aggressive yet Bible reading guy coerced to examine his double standard ethics, which is very similar to Morris's real life. He is an ex-football player and a devout Christian growing up in the Baptist church. Chestnut's fan base grew as Morris continued to stretch and rise to the occasion with a wide range of roles and characters on big and small screens. In 2015, Morris was cast as the lead character, Dr. Beaumont Rosewood Jr., a private pathologist for Fox's Rosewood. He is quoted saying, when you are the lead of a show, you've got so much dialogue you need to prepare for. And then there are things like casting choice or scene structure that is important to me. As an actor, I try to have input on certain things. At the end of the day, when you are the title character of the show, people will associate Rosewood with me. I'm playing a, a private pathologist, but he's he's cheated death to a certain extent. He was born yeah. very premature. He has a lot of health issues and he can die at any moment. So he lives every day to the, to the fullest and he likes to spread optimism to people. And he has, you know, he has a lot of wit, he has a lot of humor and uh, he likes to have fun. Did y'all know that the Twitterverse created a Morris Chestnut Day? Well, they proclaimed a Morris Chestnut Appreciation Day. Women admire Morris Chestnut's looks, making him a trending topic. A Twitter user shared her frustration in the picking of attractive black men, saying hard men are hard to find. Further stating, they don't make men this fine anymore. Not at brunch, church, or the club. While sharing one of her favorite pics of the popular actor. The Twitter timeline went crazy while other women joined in on the appreciation of the star. Morris has been gracing our film and TV screens for over 31 years with his memorable roles in such films as Girl Strip, When the Bow Breaks, The Perfect Guy, The Call with Halle Berry, and Fox's Our Kind of People. His mere presence demands our attention. Each role has more depth and appeal. He remains a staple in the world of entertainment, and we look forward to continuing to see him on the big screen. Go, Morris!